This episode is brought to you by King of Beards. This is my online shop where you can find high quality products that will help you grow a strong, healthy beard that not only looks great, but also will smell great as well. Definitely the people in your life that like to get up and close with you are gonna thank you for this one. These are products that I use personally. The link is below in the video description section and if you use my coupon code KING, you'll get 15% off on your first order. Hey, what's happening everybody? Welcome back to another episode here on FTD Facts. My name is Leroy Kenton and in this one, I'll be taking a look at 10 countries that have the largest Muslim populations in the year 2022 and 2023. The speed at which Islam is growing is making it become the most followed religion on the planet and that's gonna happen in the very near future. So without further ado, let's jump into this list and take a look at the countries. The country in at the number 10 spot is Sudan. Sudan's most common religion is Islam and Muslims have dominated national government institutions since the country's independence back in the year 1956. According to UNDP Sudan, the Muslim population is 97%, which is around 39 and a half million people in the country, with many Arab and non-Arab groups included in that 97%. The other 3% follow Christianity or traditional animist religions, and except for those in the Nuba Mountains region, Muslims are the predominant group elsewhere. The vast majority of Muslims in Sudan follow Sunni Islam of the Maliki school of thought, which is heavily influenced by Sufism. There are some Shia Muslim communities in its capital though. And one thing to note is that Sharia law is the basis of the national legal system as it applies in the North. National legislation applicable to the South is to be based on popular consensus, the values and the customs of the people. In at the number nine spot, here we have Algeria. In Algeria, Islam is the majority state religion and 41 million people in the country are Muslims. The vast majority of citizens are Sunni Muslims of the Maliki school of thought with a minority of Ibadi Muslims, the majority of whom live in Mazab Valley region. Islam gives society its central social and cultural identity as well as most people's basic ethical and attitudinal orientation. Orthodox faiths practice is far less common and consistent than Islam identification. There are also Sufi philosophies which arose in response to some scholars theoretical perspectives about what Islam should be in the country. From there, let's take a look at the country of Turkey coming in at the number eight spot. When it comes to Turkey, Turkey is an Islamic country with most Turks being Muslims. Turkish Muslims are predominantly Sunni and adhere to the Hanafi school of legal thought. Alevi Muslims account for between 15 and 20% of the population with smaller Jafari Shia Muslim communities also present there. Sufism also has a long history and has a significant impact on Islam in Turkey. The established presence of Islam in the region that now constitutes modern Turkey dates back to the latter half of the 11th century when the Sejuks, they started expanding into Eastern Antalya. During this episode, of course, you knew that this country had to be on the list. At number seven, Iran. According to an official survey conducted by the Islamic Republic, almost all of Iran's 82 and a half million people are Muslims. But one thing that makes this country a bit different from the rest is that 90% of the Muslims in Iran adhere to Shia Islam, with the majority of that Shia populace following the Twelver branch. Another 10% practice Sunni Islam, the majority of whom are Kurds, as well as you'll find Turkmens and Baloch from the Northwest, Northeast, South and Southeast respectively. Islam in Iran can be divided into two periods, Sunni Islam, which dominated from the 7th to the 15th centuries, and Shia Islam, which dominated from the 16th centuries onward. In the early 16th century, the Safavids made Shia Islam the official state religion and aggressively proselytized the faith through forced conversion. In at the number six spot, we have Egypt. 
90% of Egyptians or approximately 85 to 90 million people practice Islam. Most of Egyptian Muslims follow the Maliki school of jurisprudence, though all legal schools of Islam are represented. Shia Muslims make up a small minority of the Muslim community in the country. There are a wide variety of traditions followed and perspectives represented among Egyptian Muslims from a historical strong adherence to Sufism that continues to this day to Salafism to a wide spectrum of Islamist political views. If we look back into history, we can find out that the Islamization of Egypt occurred as a result of the Muslim conquest of Egypt by the Arabs, and that conquest was led by the prominent Muslim general Amr ibn al-As, and he was the military governor of the Holy Land. The masses of locals in Egypt and the rest of the Middle East underwent a large scale gradual conversion from Christianity into Islam and this was accompanied by jizya for those who refused to convert. The nation in at the number 5 spot is Nigeria. When we look at the country of Nigeria, by the way, it's the most populous African country with a population of over 225 million as of 2022. It's very diverse though as a country. The country is home to some of the world's largest Christian and Muslim populations simultaneously. Nigeria is roughly divided in half between Muslims who live mostly in the north and Christians who live mostly in the southeast. Indigenous religions such as those native to the Igbo as well as the Yoruba ethnicities are also very prominent in the country, but they are minority religions though. The Christians' share of Nigeria's population is on a decline though due to a lower fertility rate compared to Muslims in the north. As the population is almost equally divided between Muslims and Christians, Nigeria is officially a secular state with no official state religion. Article 10 of the constitution states that, and I quote, the government of the federation or a state shall not adopt any religion as the state religion. Next up, let's take a look at the country of Bangladesh. Islam is the state religion of the People's Republic of Bangladesh. According to the 2022 census, Bangladesh had a population of about 150.7 million Muslims or 91.04% of its total population of 165 million people. The majority of Bangladeshis are Sunni and follow the Hanafi school of thought. And religion is an integral part of Bangladeshi identity. Despite being a Muslim majority country though, Bangladesh is a de facto secular state. Although Islam played a significant role in the life and culture of the people of Bangladesh, religion did not dominate national politics because Islam was not the central component of national identity. From there, let's take a look at the country of India. Muslims constitute approximately 17.22 million people in India, or about 14.2% of the total population. India is home to close to 11% of the total Muslim population in the world. So a whole lot of Muslims live in India. While it is claimed that India has more Muslims than Pakistan, that is not necessarily statistically true. India has the third highest Muslim population after Indonesia and Pakistan. Islam spread in Indian communities along the Arab coastal trade routes in Gujarat and along the Malabar coast shortly after the religion emerged in the Arabian Peninsula. Islam arrived in the inland of the Indian subcontinent in the 7th century when the Arabs conquered Sindh and later arrived in Punjab and North India in the 12th century via the Ghaznavid and the Ghurid conquests. It has since become a part of India's religious and cultural heritage. The country coming in at number two, as you can imagine, is the country of Pakistan. The country comes in at the number two spot because it is the only country in the world to have declared independence based on Islam. According to Article 2 of the Constitution, Islam is the official religion of Pakistan and it is practiced by approximately 212 million people. 
and that makes up 96.7% of the country's total population. Less than 4% follow Hinduism, Christianity, Ahmadiyya, Sikhism, as well as other religions. As well as aspects of secularism were also adopted by the Pakistani constitution from the British colonial concept. Muslims comprise several sects. The majority practice Sunni Islam, estimated at 85 to 90 percent, while the minority practice Shia Islam, estimated at maybe 10 to 15 percent, somewhere between there. Most Pakistani Sunni Muslims belong to the Hanafi school of jurisprudence, which is represented by the Baralvi and the Diobandi traditions. Of course, the country coming in in the number one spot is Indonesia. Islam is the largest religion in Indonesia, with 86.7% of the Indonesian population identifying themselves as Muslim, which makes up around 231 million people. In terms of denominations, the overwhelming majority, 98.8%, are Sunni Muslims, while 1 to 3 million, about 1%, are Shia and are concentrated around Jakarta and about 400,000 or 0.2% are Ahmadi Muslims. In terms of schools of jurisprudence or schools of thought, based on demographic statistics, 99% of Indonesian Muslims mainly follow the Shafi'i school. Although when they're asked, 56% do not adhere to any specific school at all. So there you have it guys. This was a look at 10 countries with the largest Muslim populations in the world as of 2022 to 2023. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and uh, let me know if any of these countries came as a surprise. I'm curious to know your thoughts and comments down below. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Until then, stay awesome, stay educated, and I'll see you soon.